Hi everyone, Monique here with Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are making an extra, extra small dog sweater. And we're going to start that in just a moment. everyone, Monique here with Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are doing an extra, extra small dog sweater. So you are going to need a number 4.5 millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, a darning needle. You're going to need two colors of four ply worsted weight yarn. Today I am using a uh, green, it's called Jewel Green. <clears throat> by Burnett Cozy Style and it's 100% acrylic and I'm using some scrap yard that I have no idea what it is but it's the same weight it's and the same yeah so uh, it says here to use this with a five millimeter crochet hook but like I said we're using a 4.5 today in order to get the right size of dog sweater so let's get started First, we'll move these things out of the way. We don't need the off color yet or the scissors. We'll start with the green. So we're going to do a chain of 40. So to do my chain, I cross my yarn and then I pull through. And we're going to do 40. So you do that. And I'm going to go to fast time. So I've got 40. So now without twisting my chain, I'm going to go back to that first chain we did. And I am going to do a slip stitch to join. I'm going to chain up two. And we are going to do a 40 half double crochets around, okay? So let me show you how to do a half double crochet. First of all, you should know I never count my chain two as a stitch. That's just to get to where we need to go. Okay, to do a half double crochet, you do yarn over, into the stitch, into the chain, pull through, yarn over, through all three loops. So let's do that again. Yarn over, into the chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. So you're gonna do that all the way around and you're gonna make sure you end up with 40. Even if you end up going into that um, slip stitch to join, that's okay. The main thing is that you have 40 stitches not counting the chain two. So you do that and meet me back. So I've done my 40 half double crochets around. So now I'm gonna join in the chain two up, okay, and I'm joining in the chain, right? So I'm gonna chain up two and I'm gonna go around again. Now, next row, instead of going into the chain two up, I'm gonna go into that stitch and you're maintaining 40 stitches. Even if you have to go into the stitch that you used to um, slip stitch to attach, that's fine. And the reason I go into the chain, into the stitch, is that prevents my stitches from going wonky, like they kind of go sideways. Um, if your stitches don't do that, then do it your way, but that's, that's how I prevent that from happening, okay? So I want you to do five rows with the main color. So for me, it's the green. So five rows, and then meet me back, and we will start the design. Okay, so I've done my five rows. One, two, three, four, five. Now, I haven't joined yet, and this is going into the chain for this one. So with my contrasting color, I am going to do the slip stitch. Leave a bit of a tail so you have it to sew in. Chain up two. One, two. Now, I want you to leave 
the main color attached at the back. I know it may get <clears throat> it may get annoying, but leave it there. There is a good reason for it. I hate sewing in threads, so I do everything I can to make as few threads for us to sew in as possible, and this is part of it. So we're gonna do one round with the contrasting color. So do that, meet me back. So I've gone around and now I'm going, going to slip stitch into that stitch because last time we did, were slip stitched into our chain. Sorry guys, I have a bad cold, so that's why I sound croaky. Okay, chain up two. Okay, now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a half double crochet in that chain. Then very gently across the back. Whoops. No, I did that wrong. Sorry. Okay, so we're going to do a double or a half double crochet, but we're going to take the green and finish off that stitch, okay? Like that. But we're not pulling the green too tight because if we pull it too tight, we will distort our stitches, okay? Then we're going to do a half double crochet solid green and then we're going to do a half double crochet but we're going to finish it off with the contrasting color and then we're going to do another one this is all half double crochets okay so a so one solid and then one where we use the green to finish it off and we're just bringing this along the back and we're not pulling too tight because we don't want our stitches distorted. So a solid green and then a green but we use the cream to finish it off. And then a solid cream and then a cream with the green to finish it off. And see what we're getting? We're getting this cute little pattern. So a solid green and then a green, but we finish it off with the cream. And see, it's just laying nice. I'm not pulling too tight, but I'm not leaving it all loose and saggy either. And if you do find that it's distorted, then definitely just frog it, rip it out, and uh, <clears throat> Try again and don't pull so tight. So a solid cream and then a cream that you use the green to finish off. Do this all the way around, okay? And then meet me back. Okay, and if you've done this right, you should be ending with one white half double crochet, okay? Then let's see which one are we in. So chain stitch, chain stitch, chain stitch, chain. So then we're going to go into the chain and slip stitch with the contrasting colors. So for me, this kind of beige and do one row of um, beige. Okay. And then I'll half double crochet still and then meet me back. Okay, so I've gone all the way around with my contrasting color. So now I'm gonna, this, let's see, chain stitch, chain stitch, chain stitch, chain stitch. Okay, so I'm going into the stitch this round, but I'm using the green to do my slip stitch. Okay, and I'm chaining up two, one, two. Okay, now at this time, Leaving a tail, you can cut the contrasting color. <coughs> Pardon me. So now, we are going to do four rows of green, just like we did at the bottom there, and keep going into stitch and chain, stitch, chain. So do four more rows and meet me back. Okay, so I'm going into the stitch here to do my join on my fourth round. I'm gonna chain up two. Now, we're gonna start working on the back. 
So we're gonna count out, not counting the chain, because I never count the chain as a stitch, 20 half double crochets, okay? And I want you to work on those 20 half double crochets for a total of six rows. Back and forth, back and forth for six rows. Okay, so count out your 20 and then back and forth on those 20 for six rows. Um, oh, and if you haven't had a chance yet, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And if you want notifications of when I've uploaded a new video, hit the bell. <clears throat> it doesn't always work though. So watch for my new videos on Thursdays. I try and do a new tutorial every Thursday. And then now and then I'll throw in a slideshow of, of different projects I've done. There I was talking and I lost count. But 20 stitches, go back and forth for six rows. Meet me back. And my six rows, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm gonna pull my loop big. I'm gonna snip my yarn, leaving a tail. Now, very gently, I am gonna put the tail through the loop and pull it, but I'm not pulling it tight. I'm just pulling it so it doesn't unravel, okay? So this is the back. So now we're gonna start the chest part, okay? So we're going to, if either work is facing you with the back away, you're gonna go into this stitch, bring your yarn through, stitch up, chain up two. I catch my tail at the back and do a half double crochet, but the, I only catch it once just to give it an extra anchor and I still sew it in because my worst fear is that one of my projects will unravel and it's never happened, but I still freak out about it. So. We're gonna do 20 half double crochets across. So, do that and meet me back. I got my 20 across, I'm gonna chain up two. Now we're gonna start to decrease for that chest, okay? So here's how I do it. Yarn over into the stitch, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through. You have five loops, one, two, three, four, five. Yarn over, pull through all five loops. So that turned two stitches into one. So we're gonna want 18 stitches on this row because we're gonna also decrease at the other end. So I count this as one stitch and when I get to the other side and I get to 17, I know that my next two stitches are the ones I have to do together, okay? so. With this counting as one, get to 17, and then I'll show you how to do this again. Okay, so I just did my 17th stitch. So my next two stitches are gonna be the ones I do together. So to show you again, yarn over into the stitch, pull your yarn through. Yarn over into that next stitch, pull your yarn through. Five loops, one, two, oops, one, two, three, four, five loops. Yarn over. Go through all five loops. Oh, there we go, okay? So that turned two stitches into one. We're gonna chain up two, and we're gonna do that on each end back and forth until we're down to 10 stitches. Do that and meet me back. Okay, so I'm down to 10 stitches. So now here's what we're gonna do. We are going to attach to the chain two across the way on the back, okay? So, it's a bit tricky. There you go. Okay, we're gonna just slip stitch there and chain up two and make a big loop, okay? Now, remember that one I told you not to pull tight? We're gonna go back there, undo the tail from the loop, and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna attach to that chain two. There we go. And using that tail, we're gonna slip stitch. Now we're gonna pull that tail through the loop and this time we're pulling tight. And you can just tuck that inside so it's out of the way. So now what we're gonna do 
<clears throat> so with the right side facing you, you're going to do half double crochets for one row all the way around. And you should have 30 stitches now, okay? So do one row of green all the way around, 30 stitches, meet me back. Okay, so I've done my 30 around, and I'm going to start this by going into the chain. So like last time, we're going to do chain stitch, chain stitch, so our stitches don't go wonky. Whoops. But... We are going to join, come on now, not with the green, but with our contrasting colors. So for me, it's this cream color. And then we're going to chain up two. We'll do one round in the cream and then a final round in the green. So go around 30 stitches. You always want to have 30 stitches now. And next time when we join over here, it'll be into the stitch. And then the final, oh, and by the way, I just left the green at the back. Don't cut it. We'll just bring it along. Okay, so 30 stitches around and then 30 stitches with the green and then meet me back. Okay, so there we go. I'm gonna slip stitch into that chain Okay, I'm going to cut my green, leaving a tail. I'm going to cut my white, leaving a tail. My green tail can go through the loop. Okay, and those white ones, if you want, can just be tied together. Don't pull the knot too, too tight because you don't want to distort your stitches. Okay, and then hide your threads. But there you go. That is your extra small dog sweater. Um, this would also fit a small size cat. So um, maybe late kittenhood um, or a small cat. Yeah. So and see that's the little arms. I think it's so cute. So don't forget to like and subscribe um, and hit the bell if you want notifications or pop in every Thursday and see what I have for a new video. Thanks for so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye now.